Hello. This feels so weird. I don't even know when the last time I picked my vlogging camera up. I mean, when was it? I don't know. I'm sat on the living room floor um, with a coffee and I have been trying to like build myself up to this moment for weeks. I felt like I needed to like come on and speak and even on my Instagram I've not chatted. I've not really, I don't know, I feel like I've kind of shut myself away in a hole. Um, so I thought it's about time I picked my camera up and actually come back to the vlogging life. I Rick fixed my camera for me. My vlogging camera was broken so for ages like the screen it just was all it made it really stressful filming so I kind of like didn't do that. I didn't film for a long while because of that um, and yeah I thought I'm going to come back and vlog today and you can spend the day with me. I'm sat here smiling and I don't know why I'm smiling because to be honest it has been the shittiest, <laughs> shittiest time. I mean since October last year to now February it has just been like one big whirlwind and I'm sorry I've not really chatted, I'm sorry I've not really opened up as much as I kind of thought I would at the beginning of this journey but here we are. Um, so if I don't know if you're new here or if you don't follow me on Instagram. I mean, I've not really spoke about it much on my YouTube, um, but I have for the last, what is it, five months? Five months? Um, I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed in October with cervical cancer, stage two, and I spent the best part of the end of last year having chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and brachytherapy to get rid of it. and. Yeah, we're now in February and I'm waiting on um, a scan, well two scans, in about six weeks time. Which probably won't even give me the old clear, but it'll give them some indication of what we're up to. So I am going to do a video on my whole journey basically and explain it all in detail. But I just wanted to vlog, I just wanted to come on and just like get back to a bit of normality on here. Um, so yeah, that is where we do. That's kind of where we're up to today. I um, I so after I finished my treat, so I finished my treatment on the twenty ninth of December. That was my last surgery and treatment. And since then, it's so weird. I've been like, I've been like. So when I first finished my treatment, I thought it was going to be really, really bad because I'd been so tired and so ill with the radiotherapy and chemotherapy. But I actually was okay. And I feel like for about a month, I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm a warrior. I'm just going to keep going. I'm strong. I'm recovered. And that was fine and I like threw myself back into work and we went away, we went to Centre Parts with the kids and it was lovely and I would say up until about 10 days ago, I was like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm back to normal. And then, so because of my treatment, because I've had radiotherapy around my um, pelvic area, uh, basically, it just kills off your ovaries and so it's thrown me into sudden menopause which I briefly spoke about on my Instagram and just said like this is happening um, but I think like here like on vlogs and stuff I just feel like it's the place just where I open up to you girls more and honestly like I literally feel like I could cry right now um, oh, Honestly, I'm really struggling, really, really struggling with it. I did not even realise, I feel like, I thought it was going to be like, treatment was done, I was going to be fine. And um, no, I'm really struggling. It's really, really affected my mental health. So I didn't, I didn't know much about, my phone's ringing now. My phone, you literally sat on my phone. <laughs> I didn't know much about the menopause because 
at 37 I just didn't think it was going to be something that I was going to have to even think about or, or like I just didn't even it's not even like been on my radar anytime and they did tell me about it when I was having my treatment but the day that they took me into clinic and like chatted about what was going to happen and HRT and things like that it was such a bad day I was so ill I was full of cold and I just felt it was literally the worst day of my treatment I had no any I was walking around the hospital just crying to myself because I just felt so ill and tired my god why is it, this is what it's doing to me it's just sending me I'm so emotional all the time so um so I'd kind of, I knew it was coming, but I just didn't really like think twice about it. I was just focused on like getting my treatment done. And then it's, it's really hit me. It's hit me like, I can't even explain to you, the last week especially. Um, I was bleeding quite bad like through my treatment. Then my periods probably stopped in December. And I think the last couple of weeks has been where like my body is just like, what the hell's going on? So, so yeah, because of the radiotherapy, it's meant that my ovaries have stopped working and they're just basically fried. And so it's, they're not producing any of the hormones that your body normally does. So my body's not producing estrogen and progesterone. I never know how to say that. Um, and it feels like, you know, if any mums out there, you'll know what this is basically after you have a baby like straight after you have a baby a few days later your body the hormones in your body dip and you have like baby blues and you are so down well I was anyway like emotional crying your milk comes in and you're just like you can't even explain it you're just so emotional and depressed and it feels like that but about three times worse it's like the hormones are just gone out of my body so it's really affecting me and I didn't realise, I mean I didn't really know anything about menopause but I didn't realise that the menopause affects how much it can affect your mental health and I've been reading up on it and like listening to a lot of stuff and it's like the oestrogen levels in your, in your body affect, they like keep your nervous system calm so without them you're like I mean I felt really like anxious and down and depressed and just just felt crap basically and I'm not the kind of person to get like that at all I'm just not I'm a really positive person and I even like even going through the treatment even going through the chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatment and the brachytherapy and going into hospital on my own even then like I had down days but I was just pulling myself out of it like that was the kind of person I am but with this I'm just so I'm just so fed up. So where we're at at the moment is basically, I'm just a moody cow and just grumpy with everybody. Um, I spoke to my GP, we're gonna get me on some HRT, which should even out the levels in my body of the estrogen and progesterone. I'm gonna have a patch because I think they're the safer ones to have, whereas if it goes through your body orally, um, through your kidneys it can in increase the risk of other cancers which obviously just scares the shit out of me at the moment so I don't want to do that so I'm gonna have to go for patches and hopefully once I start that I'll be feeling a lot better but um, my GP wanted to just speak to my consultant and just double check exactly what they wanted me to go on so I need to call the doctors and chase them up by it today and fingers crossed get a prescription for it and hopefully it will help me just feel a little bit more like myself and I know that's such like well I don't know it's not a weird thing to come on here and just start chatting about on a vlog because this is like this is what the vlogs are for isn't it this is like this is me this is what's going on at the moment and also I think like it's just something that's not spoke about I mentioned it on my Instagram and so many women messaged me and said that they were going through it for different reasons I think a lot of things can cause an early menopause like stress and eating disorders and I think en endometriosis, I never say I'd say that either, endometriosis, I can't say it but you know what I mean, um, things like that can cause it and obviously cancer treatments and I think other things as well. So you know I think it's good to talk about it and I think 
I had literally not even thought about menopause. I just didn't think it was going to be anything that I was going to have to deal with anytime soon. I was thinking like 20 years or 10 years is going to be something that I go through and it's just shit to be quite honest. Really, really shit. I thought it was just like, oh, you get a few hot flushes and that's it, but it is not. We went yesterday to, it was Seth's birthday yesterday on Valentine's Day. We were going to go out for a meal and then we were really late minute last minute like booking anywhere and completely forgot that it's valentine's day because for us valentine's day is just Seth's birthday and um we went to the cinema and then he wanted to go to kfc afterwards so we went to kfc on the way back and i was like i really don't want anything because i'm trying to eat really well and then i ordered like one of the rice boxes thinking oh that would be quite nice and it came it looked absolutely disgusting and i I almost burst into tears over it. I was sat there, Effie was like, Mum, you look like you're gonna cry. And I was thinking, I am gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry right now over this KFC. And it's just like, it's like those few days before your period, but just completely like on the edge, even worse. And it's pretty shit, quite honestly, it's pretty shit. So yeah, so this week for me, and. This week is about just kind of looking after myself a little bit more. So I'm gonna, I'm actually, I've just got a coffee and I thought I'd just sit down and just like, just start this vlog. Cause if I don't start it now, I don't know when I'm gonna start it. Cause I was supposed to be starting it like two weeks ago and I keep putting it off. So I thought I'd just sit down really quick. I'm sat in the most random place <laughs> in the lounge. Um, I'm gonna go get my nails done because they are horrendous. And then this week, I mean, they're so grown out and I've lost one here. But this week for me is all about just getting myself in a bit of a, a bit of a nicer place because just mentally and just a bit of self-care and stuff. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to get my nails done now. Then I have some videos to film, uh, sorry, outfits to film for a haul that I've got. But I just, I just don't think I'm going to get around to it today. So I'm not going to rush it. And then tomorrow I actually have a therapy appointment. I've never been to therapy before and I was like, you know what, I need to just start like investing in myself a little bit more and I've been through a lot and I need to like deal with it because I think, especially after cancer treatment, it's so like when you're in the thick of it, you're just, you've, all you focus on is getting through it. And I've really found the last few weeks, it's hitting me a bit, a bit of like, post-traumatic stress disorder or something like a little bit of post-traumatic stress and I just want to deal with it and I just want to do things that are just going to make me feel a little bit better so yeah that's what this week is about so get my nails done a little bit of something for me today therapy tomorrow I'm going to get back in the gym doing some weight training because I haven't been doing any I've kind of gone off lifting weights and doing a lot more like body weight stuff but um another thing with the menopause is that your body stops producing certain things i mean i don't know what it is i'm not a science scientist or a doctor but you have to look after your bones more you're more at risk of osteoporosis and so one of the good things is obviously eating well which i do genuinely do so i'm not too stressed about that but um they say that like weight weight bearing exercise as in like lifting weights is really good for strengthening your bones. So I'm gonna get back to doing that, but nothing too heavy. Um, and I'm also gonna book myself in for a massage because I just feel, I can feel the stress. And I've been saying I'm gonna book myself in for a massage for the last, well, I think since I finished my treatment, it's like in my shoulders, I can feel myself just holding so much stress and tension. And I just thought, I'm just gonna book myself in for it and just go for this massage. and just do some little things this week that are going to get me in a better place so yeah so you can come along with me and let's get back to like vlogging and <laughs> sharing a bit of just normal day-to-day -day stuff with you so I've got my coffee how cute is this cup by the way I got it from misguided how cute is it it says girl boss and I love the quote on it so I've got myself a nice little coffee mm. got myself dressed for the day and um yeah i'm gonna go and get my nails done this cardi by the way because i know you're all gonna ask about it is so lovely i'll actually put a picture on the screen here because i just did a selfie of it it's from h&m it's sold out online um but oh my goodness i got it it got delivered last friday and it's now tuesday and i've worn it three times 
it's like and that is unheard of for me it is the coziest thing i got it in a size large and it's um oh it's like a long let me go back it's like a long like wrap over and then i just put i got this wow well, this is a newbie new addition to my wardrobe i got a little this little celine belt which i just absolutely love and then these leggings <laughs> this is the most weird showing you of an outfit these leggings i'll just put a picture on the screen but these leggings are from lemon milk and my dunks because i live in them so yeah i've got uh i'm gonna go and oh i've actually I need to finish my apple i got some apple and some coffee and mm, i'm gonna go let's go and get my nails done because they are stay. I think I'm gonna just go for short and white this time. So I've come out, I've got my nails done, I've gone for black. How cute do they look? Although my hands do need a little bit of tan on them. <laughs> they look even more pale now. Um, I just got back in the car. I don't think I've switched to you since I've got my new little car. So basically, we had two big cars before. Like Rick, Rick always has like a pickup, a van, things like that. And and then we have like the Q7 for all of us. And basically, it drives me mad <laughs> driving it every single day. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. But we need a seven seater for the kids. Um, so I was like, Rick, you just have the seven seater for your car, and then. I want something little so I've got a little mini countryman which I absolutely love although I do think we are going to swap it in about six months um just because we're going to get I think we're just going to get another pickup and I might go for a seven seater but a smaller seven seater so I've got my nippy little countryman which I love actually if I didn't have we didn't have all the kids I would just have a small car all the time um but unfortunately that's the joy of having four kids so I'm going to nip home, Rick's just rang me, my battery's just turned on my phone, but he rang me before and bless him, he's gone and done the food shop, like a healthy food shop and just told me that he's making fajitas for tea, so that saves me a job, so I'm really quite happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go home, I've got a few things I need to dash to the parcel shop for, um, Depop orders and get them sent, and then I'm going to walk up with the dogs and... This old guy's just looking at me like I'm an absolute freak, sat in the car talking to myself. Um, now I'm going to walk the dogs up to meet Effie off the bus. Hopefully, if it stops raining, because this weather is so bad. Um, but hopefully, the rain will just stay where it is for now, so I can actually walk and go meet her off the bus. And um, yeah see what else happens for the rest of the day I'm not going to get any work done so I'm just going to give up on that right now I've got some stuff well me and Rick have got some stuff to do on my social media course which I don't think I spoke about on YouTube basically Rick's working on putting together like a course that explains like everything on how to build a following on social media and how to work with brands and things like that so we've been working on that a lot together and hopefully it's going to be ready in March fingers crossed it will be um, and also Rick is helping me with like all my brand deals now so he basically like manages all my work for me which is great <laughs> so it frees me up to do all of this so basically he just does all the back and forwards with brands um, and just tells me what I need to do basically and what we're what we're working on and what's coming up So it's actually working really really well. So Yeah, so I'm gonna go see what he's up to and Have an hour get something to eat before the kids finish school look a little bit rough right now <laughs> and I've got my glasses on Rick takes the mickey out of me in these glasses because my eyes are so bad <laughs> like I can't explain to you how bad my eyesight is and they have like rings round because I wanted some that were like quite big but because they're quite big they make them like have like real rings 
around the gutter. I've literally just stripped all my makeup off, hair up and come and got myself in bed. The kids are just like settling down. The older two in the room is watching like TV and stuff and the other two finally got them to settle down and go to bed. Rick made fajitas for dinner for us, which was so nice. It's the first time in ages when he's cooked. I think he knew that I'm like on the edge, <laughs> just needed a break. But um, no, we've had a nice little afternoon. We went to the gym. We went and did like a little family workout session. Basically, Rick has his own gym. I don't know if I spoke about that on here. I think I have. Um, so we went down, Seth had football training tonight. So while he was at football training, me, Rick, Effie, Max and Albie all went and did like a big workout together. Well, I did my own thing and Rick did like a circuit thing for them. So um, that was cute. And then he's come, we've come home and he's cooked. So it's been really nice, really, really nice. It was actually Valentine's Day yesterday, but it's Seth's birthday on Valentine's Day, so we didn't really do anything. So we might try and like do something a bit last minute for Valentine's Day, um, just me and Rick. We need like a spa day, I was saying today. I had like a really good cry on Rick today and said like, we need a spa day, I just need a day doing nothing. Because it gets to this time in the evening. Oh, Mary's here. He's snuggling. Um, it gets to like, is that better? Once I get the kids in bed at like eight o'clock, I am just exhausted. I just get myself in bed. So I've come upstairs. I've got my laptop. Mary's with me. Elton's just sniffing around over there. Um, what are you barking at? Come here now. Hey, come out. He's found something. <laughs> We're tired, aren't we? Um, so yeah, I've got my laptop. I'm gonna sit and maybe do like a little bit of work. I saw, I saw this, um, I don't remember what I saw it on. It's this manifest by um, Roxy Nafusi. And I've read a little bit of it and probably like a quarter of the way through. It's so good. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work, which I know I shouldn't do. I shouldn't bring my laptop upstairs to bed, but I've got a few bits that I didn't get done today that I just want to finish off. So I'm going to do that and then try and just like settle down and read my book and have an early night. So yeah, I'm going to read a little bit of my book and then just have an early night. I really, really want to get back into the habit of getting up nice and early because I'm just completely, completely out of it. I need to get up, start getting up at six o'clock again. I think it'll do me so much good. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch off for the night and um, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I've just got myself out of the shower and getting myself ready for the day. God, I look rough this morning and I am in absolute agony. My legs, my legs and my bum are absolutely killing me. I think yesterday was the first day in a long time. <laughs> I've actually done some exercise. I've been really like doing gentle yoga and walking loads um, rather than actually doing full on weights. And oh my God, it killed me. I physically can't, I'm really struggling to walk up the stairs this morning. But anyway, I'm getting myself ready for the day because today is the day when I'm gonna go and have my first ever therapy session. I've had like life coaching sessions before, um, but not therapy. Oh, that is stinging my eyes. I bought, oh, if you are OGs on here, you know that I get really dry skin around my eyes sometimes if I use certain products and I bought the Aldi, I've brought out a cleansing balm and we all know I love a cleansing balm. Um, it's great at getting your makeup off. But I've been using that and I think it's not agreeing with my skin. Like my eyes are really sore again and they've not been like that in ages. So I'm not going to use that again. <laughs> um, I've got starting a new bottle of this, which is one of my faves. I'm going to share with you my skincare actually because apart from the Audi cleansing balm that's killed my eyes, um, I found a, found a routine that's really been working lately. So I've been using loads of the Ren products. Oh my God, I just love them. I just absolutely, I really, really rate them. This isn't like a paid thing. I've never worked with them on any paid jobs, but their products are so good. And I really, like, I find myself reaching for them over everything else. And I mean, my shelf, my skincare shelf is so full at the moment, but I just love them. So 
I did just put this on though. This I absolutely rate. So I went and got my cosmetic. I went and got um, a top up of my aesthetics treatments with Dr. Ahmed. I'll put his link in the bio. Um, I just absolutely love. I feel really comfortable with him and I'm able to like tell him exactly what I want and he always gets it exactly right so I always get a tiny small bit of filler in my lips maybe like once a year um just because not because I want I mean I went too big with them in the past and I look back now and I absolutely hate the way they looked um but when I don't have anything in them I got them all dissolved and I, def I definitely just didn't feel as confident. I feel like they'd l like lost volume as I've aged. So we just put a tiny bit in just to keep that tapped up. And then I get a little bit of filler here in my nose and it just makes my nose look a little bit more straight because it, I, I think it's a little bit pointy. And then the only other thing that I've had is um, a little bit of filler in my chin, which I'd never had before, before I went to see. Um, Dr. Ahmed and we were talking about things and he said try just a little bit of filler in your chin like it makes such a difference to your jawline and just your face in general so I've had that um, and I just think it gives like a little bit more of a better shape people always think I have filler in my cheeks I had filler in my cheeks one time like in 2019 so three years ago like there is no filler <laughs> in my cheeks if anything um and I hated it I didn't like it at all the only reason I had it was a tiny little bit just to like lift the area um because as you age like this bit gets a bit like jowly so I was recommended just to have a little bit of filler in my cheeks so I did I didn't like it I felt like my face looked like ballooned um so I've never had that again since but everyone always thinks I do <laughs> but actually more than anything my face is like plumped up um a lot since the steroids and I don't hate it to be honest I mean I hate some it was very very puffed up before um I had like the full steroid moon face but it has gone down now but I do feel like I've like got a bit more volume in my face if you look at pictures of like I was looking at videos from last summer and I look really drawn I think I went like far too skinny so um I don't know what has leaked on that so, um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> when I went to see Dr. Ahmed, he's working with a company called Get Harley. And basically you get a, um, you get an online skin consultation. Um, but Ahmed actually did it for me because he specializes in like prescribing medication as well. And this was one of the products that was prescribed for me because I was telling him how much I loved like the hyaluronic acid and the serum that I've been using. And I love this. It's um, like a vitamin C serum. It feels so good when it goes on. I'll put the link for Get Harley in the um, description as well because if you're concerned about your skin, it's just a good way of getting like an expert's advice and the medication that you can get prescribed is a lot better quality than stuff that you potentially would buy over the counter. So this was one of the things that I absolutely loved. I also got prescribed a face wash and a really good SPF. Um, and it's just, yeah, really, really, really good service if you're not sure. I've also, oh, I've been using hyaluronic acid, but I've, I've dropped my bottle. I'm so annoyed. When we went away to the Gotham last two weeks, two, three weeks ago, I broke the bottle, but it was this, I was using one by this brand, which is Good Molecules. Um, but I also, but there are, there are the serums that I got are really lovely too. This is a super peptide serum. But the one, the, hyalur the hyaluronic acid that I was using was in the same bottle as this and it was so nice. Anyway, and then on top of that, I've just been using um, basically all my REM products and I've been using the Glow. I've not record I've not filmed it. I put the Glow, the Glow Tonic. Oh, I think it's my favourite product in my skincare routine at the moment. It just makes your face feel so like tight and clean and glowy and oh i love it it's the clean it's this one i literally have three bottles because i don't want to run out it's the ready steady glow um tonic oh my goodness i love it i just put it on with a like a reusable cotton pad 
which I don't know where it's gone and yeah and then this is the glow daily vitamin c cream I'm actually gonna put a bit more on I think because my eyes feel really dry it's just made my whole skin feel dry but yeah I'm getting myself ready to um I've got a little bit of work I need to do this morning and a couple of errands to run and then I'm going to that feels better then I'm going to um my therapist at 12 30 so I mean I'll probably put my camera up afterwards and I really think I'm going to be like a massive blubbering mess when I come out to be quite honest um I've been using this a lot as well it's the Herbest um scalp serum I've been trying to put this on every day around these front bits because I've seen such a difference since I've been using it like all these little baby hairs are growing back you see just rub that serum in um yeah I think I'm going to come out a blubbering mess I was talking to Rick about it the other day and I was like I genuinely feel as though you know they say like you you're in like survival mode you're like in fight or flight mode I think I've been in survival mode literally for the last 12 years when I actually think about it like when I left my kid's dad kid's dad like that was a traumatic time for me it was not good at all and I like um you know I left I didn't have anywhere to go I had to get like council housing then I set my business up because I had to provide for my kids and I was running my business and that was so stressful and I hated it and then like that came to an end I sold out of my part of the business and then it was like I need to find something else to do and then my dad died and then we had Covid and then the cancer and now the early menopause I'm just like really I'm just like really like what more can I take and I don't really know how I'm holding on on in there and I think I'm just one of those people that just gets on with stuff like I'm not the kind of person to just wallow and you know struggle with things I just get on with it but I'm getting to the point now I'm like I just need a break I just need to do something so yeah I kind of am a bit worried that I'm going to go in there today and just haven't completed utter meltdown on this poor woman <laughs> I feel like it's like 12 years of just holding stuff in it's just gonna go meh and just be a really really dramatic time but I feel like as well I need to do it like you need to work through these things don't you you hold them in and you hold them in and you don't deal with them and it just builds up and builds up and I think I just need to like deal with it process it talk about things get it all out and then have a fresh start hopefully and like move on and not like hold on to those things that hold us back so yeah be interesting to see what kind of state I'm in when I come out I'm not even putting any mascara on today because <laughs> I'm just like what's the point I know I'm gonna burst into tears the minute I go into that place so yeah I'm gonna get myself ready but I thought I'd just check in and say a quick hello um before I start putting my makeup on and yeah I will check in with you in a little bit once I get sorted and go get these errands done <sighs> I have just come out of my first session with my therapist oh my god she was such a lovely lady I feel like this is gonna be really good I had a little cry <laughs> I, feel like I just broke down and I was like okay this 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 has happened um but no I think it's gonna be really really good I um so yeah I just got back in the car and uh the ignore the bag in the back that is the fact that Rick hasn't taken my throat to the dry cleaners that he was supposed to take it's just sat in the boot here he was supposed to take it three days ago so I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners instead it smells of dogs because they keep sitting on it all the time um but yeah I feel good for that I, I'm I'm not excited excited is not the wrong word the wrong word when we were talking then I was like I need 
she was saying what do you need that why do you need this and i was thinking i just need to look after me a little bit this year that was like one of my main things this year to look after me and do things for me so therapy is the start i'm also going to go and book myself in for a massage this afternoon and just do those things that i need to do just for a bit of self-care um so <laughs> so many people around and i'm just i'm still so awkward vlogging people are like why are you talking to a camera <laughs> Um, okay, they've gone now. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a really good thing for me. I think it's going to really, really help. I had a little cry. And it was like just actually talking about everything that's happened. <laughs> like, over the last 10 years. And I think I just need to go back and work through everything that's happened in the last 10 years because when I actually stop and think about it it's so much it's like I left my ex-partner in a bad relationship and had like the kids and then I set this business up to like try and provide for them because I didn't have I wasn't working and oh, it's just so much anyway I'm gonna go meet Rick at the gym and then I have to film some content for a haul this afternoon oh my car's beeping and my battery's flash, flashing at me so I will have to go home and charge my battery and um, catch up with you once I've filmed some of this content later I have just finished the most mammoth spring capsule wardrobe like haul video so I hope you all enjoy it when it goes up because I am absolutely exhausted I've not had any breakfast yet I just had two coffees to get me through the morning of changing like a million outfits and I'm absolutely exhausted now so I'm gonna go downstairs Rick is downstairs doing some like admin -y work let's see if he wants to go for some lunch because I just need to like get out of the house and do something but I thought really quickly before I do just ignore this mess here guys i thought before i do i wanted to show you my outfit today because i know you're gonna love this how gorgeous is this really cute like cream jacket for spring i absolutely love it i've just put it on with my i don't know leggings and my um beige like creamy trainers i think this is just such a cute outfit for like every day so yeah i'm gonna go downstairs and see if rick will come for lunch with me just so we can get out the house and have a little bit of a lunch break today because I'm just pretty tired after that. I also have just had a call from my doctor today to say that I can go and pick up my prescription of HRT, which just sounds so weird. Like, it's so weird to think, I've got gone bloody HRT at 37 years old. Like, what the hell? It's kind of depressing. But at the same time, I'm so fed up of just, like, not feeling myself. So I'm kind of excited to to start it and see if I feel better. So we're gonna go and do that as well, pick up my prescription. Um, and hopefully, hopefully that will feel, I will feel better and a little bit more normal. Hopefully it'll stop the horrible hot flushes that I've been having and just like even out my hormones because I have been having the worst mood swings of my life ever. <laughs> Literally like, when you feel like hormonal and emotional, from like your period times it by about five and that's probably like how I've been feeling the last few weeks so oh it'd be nice to just to just uh have a bit of normality and feel a little bit norm a bit more normal I'm gonna go get my prescription hopefully go for some lunch somewhere nice with Rick and then I've got a ton of editing of this capsule wardrobe to do this afternoon before the kids get back from school so it's gonna be like a bit of a mad rush so I'm gonna go and see what Rick wants to do now very very stormy friday it, the 
the weather in the UK, oh my goodness, it's like hurricane weather. We never have anything like this. I have just on my way to go pick up Effie early from school because basically they don't know whether it's going to be safe for them coming home on the bus because it's so windy. So I just said I'm going to come over and pick her up. I needed to come and like I'm coming to Aldi now. So I'm just about to run into Aldi and then go and get her. But I thought I would just come on and like finish this vlog off. Um, it's been a bit of a crazy week. So I had, I got my HRT yesterday. I started that yesterday. I don't really feel much different. I'm still having like crazy hot flushes and I think it'll take about a week for it to kind of kick in. So I'm hoping like next week's vlog, I should be able to be here saying like, I feel like a new woman. And I feel back to myself again. But um, yeah, it's like Friday afternoon now and I am just gonna go and get something for tea. I'm gonna make a nice, like healthy, home cooked, Chinese tonight like a fake way it's one of my favorite things to cook so it's just me Rick and Effie for dinner tonight so I'm gonna do that and basically just have a cozy day I'm hoping I know this sounds horrible to say but I'm hoping that football's called off tomorrow because of the weather because I'm just not in the mood for standing out anywhere in this weather all weekend so I'm hoping that's gonna happen um, and we can just have a cozy weekend at home that is my plan so yeah, I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. I hope you, well this will be going out on Sunday, so I hope you've all had a nice cozy weekend at home. If you're in the UK, I hope you've all stayed nice and safe in this kind of hurricane style weather. And um, I will hopefully, fingers crossed, vlog next week as well, because I've actually enjoyed getting back into vlogging. So I hope you've enjoyed having me back. And yeah, love you all girls, and I will see you soon.